What is up, everyone? We are back again with a new game. Name of the game, Fifu. For those of you who don't know, Fifu is an older game. 2021, I believe, is when it released. And I'm, I'm, I decided to play this game because two things. One, it's actually the free game of the month for PlayStation Plus. And two... I had a good friend that knows what kind of video games that I like to play and he vouched that this is a game that I would like and he recommended it to me thinking that I would like this and I decided to give it a try. I played it, I believe the first two areas of the game and I gotta say I thought it was really really good. Uh, the art style of this game is really really good. And yeah there's just a lot of things about this game that I thought I just was thinking to myself, this seems like the perfect game to stream and to to do a let's play about. Um, one, it's a free game of the month. I think a lot of people could be could be their first time tuning into this game, trying it out. Um, and I just think this is a to be a hidden gem that maybe not too many people are aware of. So let's go ahead and start this. We're gonna do the story. And like I said, I already started it. I'm going to do a new game. Um, so I, I am a little bit... I, I wanted to test it out just to see if I would like it. And that's why I, I did, did decide to do it. And here you can see how, how much I played. But let's go ahead and do a new slot. Uh... Let's see here. We're going to do Disciples. Start the game with each skill's most advanced permanent unlock progression among all your saves. Now we're going to start a brand new game. Now we're going to start this all from the beginning. Because I want you guys to see this game from its very beginning. Right? So, yeah, the story is also a really cool story. And, and there's some... A, like a really really cool concept in this game that I'll go ahead and play and then we can talk about it as we discover it. But yes, this is going to be a harder game. And I think that's one of the reasons why I do like it. I do tend to like games that are a little bit more on the difficult side, side of things. What was that? So here we're learning a little bit about the move sets, how to how to fight, how to parry. Get out of my way. Leave him to me. So parrying in this game is gonna be pretty vital. Dodging. Parrying and dodging, pretty much. And I don't want to, I don't want anyone to think I'm like some type of expert in this game either. Because, no, far from it. I was struggling with this game at first. I did pick up some confidence as I was playing it, but, I mean, this is a hard game. Without a doubt. Sweep the place. Nobody leads. Ooh. Sure. So it seems like we, we're coming in here. We're just tearing this place up. We got the partners with us too, so we're not going solo on this. R2 to rush. Who the hell is that? Get him now. No. 
So right there, I was able to actually uh, pick up the bottle when he threw it at me with uh, the L1 button, so the parry button. Hey, what did we do, right? The uh, dodging. We can vault as well. Sheesh, look at them combos. <laughs> Man, the finishing moves are pretty sick. They seem a little bit exaggerated, but just enough realism to it that, like, <laughs> you could actually see someone doing it. Alright, we got, got another one of our guys here. Ifu, mean the name of the game? You know why I'm here, don't you? Just step aside. You were a mistake. <laughs> uh, I should never have taught you. Now you know too much. By returning here tonight, you've given me a second chance. This time, I will do what I must. Alright, looks like we're going up against Sifu. See what this old timer's got. He's good. He's good. Not good enough, though. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Uh, it seems like this guy was at one point like our teacher, right? For some reason, we're taking vengeance on him or something. We've come to defeat him. When I look into your eyes, I see nothing but a frightened, angry child. Oh yeah? What about now? What do you see now? chance oh that one hurt him that one hurt him in the box what's Show in the yourself. box oh so this is where i was kind of just pretending for 
for the sake of any first time uh, viewers or players of this game. But up to up until that point, you were led to believe that you're the that is your character, right? Like you're you're playing as the main person. But it isn't until right now that you realize you're you are actually that boy or girl that is hiding the cabinet that just witnessed uh, the death of Sifu. Which is like something that I just did not see, see coming and I think it's pretty awesome. There it is. So yeah, like I said, I think it's really, really cool what they did there in that intro. I'm not saying it hasn't been done, but personally, like I just can't think of a game that does that off the top of my head where you start off as potentially, you know, the bad guy, the, the main enemy of the game, start playing as them. You learn there. Sifu was the boy's father. And he had that little, I don't know what, what you want to call that, that like bracelet looking thing. It was glowing, so it is important. But here we got a little bit of a tutorial. Alright, so parry, and then we're gonna do a directional throw. And also, how cool is this tutorial? Like a movie. Like the, the scenes of a movie or something. The credits or something. So avoid high high attacks. artist palm strike The CEO. All right, here we go. We gotta do a sweep, then a down attack. Okay. Yang, so Yang is the guy that you know just did that to Sifu. Well, it kind of shows you the gauntlet that we're gonna have to go through.
Here we are, present day. We are here in a studio. Um, this is actually the exact same place that we were just in. Um, fighting at Yang, killing Sifu. So here, let's just check out some things really quick. We got a board. Um, we got notes, squats. This used to be an industrial industrial district. Once work dried up, everyone left. The gang took over and it became a no-go zone. We got different areas. So I think after each area, I'll go ahead and... But first, we're going to focus on squats. So that that's like the squats is. So we'll keep reading more of these as we go on. I know this is where we would... Oh, here we go. A jar. The botanist. The botanist? He's the one who cut my throat that night. First on my list. He works for a gang as a botanist. Never leaves the warehouse. So we're going to be going after him. Hey, there we go. So I did get the deluxe edition for this game, which is only like five bucks. That I was like, well, if I'm gonna be streaming it, I might as well get the deluxe. So this is actually a kind of cool outfit. And then out here, we have a little tree. It's our skill tree. So these are some different types of abilities that we can go ahead and get. And right here, we got some training. Which I don't know if I should do these really quick. I guess I'll go ahead and do these. I don't think they should talk. Uh, take too long. You take structure damage whenever you block or get hit. Structure ga gauge is displayed at the bottom of the screen. Oops. So yeah, that's blocking in this game will be very important. Good. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this, the timing right on this. So for that right there, I was actually trying to parry it when I was. All I needed to do was just block it. You know, to block, all you do is just hold L1. When the structure gauge is filled. You get hit and lose control of the character. Right now, go ahead and hold it again. So that kind of shows you what happens if your structure gauge uh, runs out or gets full, I guess. Press the guard buttons for being hit to deflect most attacks. So that's the parry system. Like a deflect attacks to impact the enemy structure. So, after enough parries, um, you can actually take down the enemy. Deflect attacks to prevent your structure from being broken. Too early right there. Parry. Deflect specific attacks to trigger a parry, leaving the enemy exposed. So deflect. Parry. Ah, too late. A paired enemy can be thrown in any direction. Immediately counterattack a paired enemy to stun them. Ah.
So parrying is no joke. It, it's pretty difficult actually. Like right now it may seem like I, I, I got it down or something. But once you're actually in the game, it's a lot more difficult I would say. Stunned enemy cannot defend themselves for a short while. Oh. So, when you do something like that, you know, the, the outcome can be good. Stunned enemy can be thrown in any direction. Too late. Lesson 4, avoid. Avoid high and medium attacks by holding the guard button, then pressing down. So this is also a very useful technique. What? What? Too early? Did I, did I actually get hit? There we go. So that right there to me is just as valuable as parrying because when I was playing the game, I feel like I was doing a lot of avoiding. Some attacks can be punished after avoiding them, triggering a slowdown effect. Just like that, punish an attack to stun an enemy. So right there, it's just kind of like a little combo, I guess you could say. Avoid avoid low attacks by holding the guard button, then pressing up. Sheesh. Most low attacks can be punished. Ah, I pressed the wrong button right there. What? How did I not get that? There we go. Alright. Almost done here, so let's let's go lesson five now. Attacks with glowing limbs deal a lot of structure damage. It's better to avoid these attacks. Ah, too early. Too early again. Come on. Dude, there's no way. Okay, yeah, okay, that time I did do it way too early. <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. Here we go. How is that too early? I feel like I'm doing it too late in some situations. Okay. Dude, no way. Oh, you know what? Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Uh, 
I was avoiding high attacks instead of low attacks right there. That's why I wasn't pulling it off. Alright, you must avoid throws. Throws are always punishable. Alright, did it a little too late there. Alright, again, too late. There we go. Alright, last lesson. The command attacks. Pushing an opponent away can help to create space and exploit the environment. That's the palm strike. Various base and unlockable attacks allow to push an enemy. Knocking an enemy down incapacitates, incapacitates them for a few seconds. You can hit down opponents when you're nearby them. So sweeping in and then it's going in for the attack right there. Various base and unlockable attacks allow to knock down an enemy. Make the most of crowd control options by using them after a parry. Ah, oh, wrong thing. Come on. I do it faster. That's still too late, really? There we go. You can also use crowd control attacks on a stunned enemy. There we go. Alright. So the, just went through all the lessons really quick right there. At least semi quick. Let's go ahead and get started though. So, the squats is the first area of this game. And I still haven't really explained the uniqueness of this game and why I thought it's so special. But I think uh we'll I'll just explain that uh, once it comes up. I'm sure it will come up <laughs> in this area. They blocked the entrance to the warehouse. Need to find another way inside. Get lost. Nothing here. <laughs> I warned right. you, asshole. All right, and so it begins. Something that I noticed when I was playing for the first time though, is that using just this simple dodge animation or move can be pretty useful. And I feel like they don't really explain that to you as much. Like they don't give you a situation to use that. They mainly just teach you how to parry and uh, block and how to dodge and stuff. But honestly, I think this animation can work pretty well too. So if we go over here, find this letter, this goal letter, locked until we fucking say so. I found this note stuck on a door blocking my way into the warehouse. So, you know, we can't actually use this because it's locked. If I can get it open, it will be useful. It will be a useful shortcut. So somewhere we're going to be able to find that key. And yes, we can use weapons in this game as well. We can start off with this guy. Place. 
face, pal. Oh no, my controller is low. Hold up, hold up. I should have checked on that earlier. Here we go. Junkies. I don't think they'll be a problem. Let's look around and see if there's any valuable, any more like notes. Uh, I know, for example, that key we'll need to find. So this is where we started off, so we could actually came up here first if we wanted to. We can make this jump. Hey, you. All right, so once we get into right now, like you know, there's a little bit more enemies. I feel like I find the game a little bit more difficult once we get into more crowded areas. Right now, I've kind of just been dealing with one to two enemies at a time. All right, so we found this purple mist. The drug produced here it appeared a few years after the death of my father, and its use has increased dramatically throughout the city. Open it. Open up. Oh snap. Check this fucking clown out. Nope. Can go back. <laughs> Leave these people alone. Ourselves a real light white knight here. Let's relieve him of the cost. There we go. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit is right. Damn, I'm actually doing really good. <laughs> I gotta say. I definitely did not do this good my first run. When I say my first run, I don't mean the whole game. I literally just played maybe like two to three hours. I think I, I cleared out the first two areas. I think I already mentioned that, but just to clarify. I just wanted to make sure that this is a game that I wanted to stream and definitely is. little broom action is there anything else there's these people
Wait, so what was back here? Oh, wait. It's over here. Wait, did I come through here? I did, didn't I? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just retracing my steps. Did she just hit him? I'm pretty sure she just nailed him for me. Whoa there. Whoa there. Relax a little bit. Done fucked up. You done fucked up. Pick up this broom again. Nah, I'm good. I'll leave it up. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay. The warehouse. I'm getting closer. Ah, there's the warehouse over there. I'm trying to make sure we're not missing like any items or anything. But I know there are some collectibles. I think that might be useful in the future. So this is going to be an important, uh, very important statue or whatever you want to call it. So here we get to pick a reward. So we get to um, do any of these things that we have an, enough uh, score saved up for or XP. And this, I guess I'll explain it now since it's here. And I haven't been able to show it off. But so the uniqueness in this game is that if you die... Right now, it says I'm age 20, right? If I die, then my age is going to go up. I come back, but thanks to that, like, charmed bracelet or whatever we have, I don't know how it works. Obviously, it's just a game. <laughs> but we come back, and we just get older. So you die. If I die, I'm going to be 21 years old. If I keep dying repeatedly, my age is going to go up faster and faster. So that's why right here, when we pick a reward, it says max age to unlock is 25. So once I'm older than 25, I can no longer upgrade the weapon durability. Same thing with 40, uh, the age of 40, I will no longer be able to upgrade the health gained on takedowns and so on. So this is, I, I find that one's pretty important. So let's see. I feel like this is pretty. I'm gonna do this just because, like I said, I can't. It's not like I can't upgrade that anymore once I get to a certain point. In my life. So I think it, it makes sense to to pick that. I have no idea if that's actually like one of the better options or not, but to me, it just makes sense. Man, them dodging skills right now, huh? You see how I'm dodging more than actually like parrying? That's why I say that I feel like I didn't use the parry system necessarily too much. I know it's important, but I just personally didn't do it too much. Probably the better thing to do, I would say, in terms of creating combos and stuff like that. Damage given, but yeah, I don't know. Shame I'll have to throw you back through. 
truly. Hey, old big fella. Let's settle down. Oh god. Very nice. Got some bills here. Drug money. Dirty money. No doubt. Blood money too. Anything else? We want to go through this elevator. I almost feel bad about that. You dare come at me? Alright, see right now- Oh! Oh, that's too many people. Absolutely insane. Relax, bro. Any regrets now? All right, is that everybody here? That does seem like it. All right, let's see if we got anything else. Any other notes or anything for us to collect? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, let's keep going then. Too easy. No, honestly though, I'm doing really good. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Moving through the warehouse will be a lot easier with these keys. It almost makes me want to check. Am I doing this on the right difficulty? Doing it. Disciple. Yeah, that's like the medium difficulty. So I, oh yeah, so I... Something I kind of just like skipped over. Um... So I, got, I just collected these bunch of keys. Moving through the warehouse will, will be a lot easier with these keys. So, if you remember, there was this door right here that was locked. I can get If I can get it open, this will be useful. So with those keys, we can actually use that. We can use the keys to go through that door to create kind of like a shortcut. So if we wanted to replay this, we could do it and go through that shortcut. 
Um, and the reason why you would want to do that is because, let's say I, it's my first time playing, you know, you're going to be bad your first time, more than likely. Or at least not as good as what you would be, right? If you played more. So, if you died, let's say, you got to age like 40, let's say, the next area that you're going to enter, you would be age 40. You're not going to start over, your age continues on from what your best score is, you could say, from the previous area. You might want to do the run again, just to lower your age. Which I'm sure is something we will do at some point too. Not necessarily in this one, because I'm doing pretty good. But in future areas. Let's see what this is. Parry impact. Increase impact of, par of parry on impact. On opponent structure. Stuff. It's tough. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I guess I'll do this one again. Just because, like I said, I can't. Once I'm over 25, I'm not going to be able to increase that. But I just feel like it, it makes sense to increase it now. Could be wrong. Could be totally wrong. Oh, yeah. And I think with the keys now, we can go through this door. Metal gate. This gate keeps their dirty money safe, and as you can see here, the keys are connected to both. So. Alright, nice. I think that's the first time we take someone out without like everyone not noticing. I think when I take once I take this guy out though, I'm sure everyone will see. Or maybe not. Anyone else that we can take out a little bit more quietly? Hey, this is private property. Oh, did he see me? Oh god! Oh god! Hold up! Back up! Back up! Ugh. you guys whoa 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 oh he's glowing he's glowing oh shit ah too many of them any more weapons around here some or something oh shit that came out of nowhere shit, he's armed. yeah so are you oh my god i'm about to die no i don't want to die i was doing so good Yes, there we go. 
So if you notice, I don't know if I've, I don't think I've mentioned it, but when you do takedowns like that, your health regains. It's definitely something you want to do. All right. Now that we went through that, let's see if there's anything down here. Purple flower. The flower used to create the purple mist. I think that's it down here. Just search really quick. Seems like it to me though. So let's just go ahead and head on to the next area. Oh yeah? Badass did that sound. Of course you are. <laughs> the reactions are funny. I am doing fantastic. Wait, I'm just checking to see if there's anything. I don't think there is. Yeah, there we go. The squats. Hey, I did really, really good. Definitely, alright, I think I'm gonna, I could technically max this out. This one is tempting me. Focus regain, increase focus regain on successful avoid or parry. Let's do this one. I, what is focus regain now that I'm thinking about it? Like that, uh, like that window you have to like combo them or something? Maybe I should do this one, huh? I probably won't. I don't know when I'll get a score this high again. I just realized. I think I could have. I could have actually upgraded. Up, yeah, upgraded some of my skills too. I totally forgot to do. So we got key card 206. Ask you for a room at the sanctuary. So that is also something that we would need to use in the future if we if we reran this course. And I guess not only if we did, but I would say when we do. I don't I don't know which way to go. It was over here. Hmm. The private room is locked. Looks like someone's private room. We actually can't go through that.
Whoa there, buddy. All right, so here we go. Oh my God. I was not ready for that. All right, hold up. Let me pick up my weapon again. Choking. I'm choking. There we go. No, I had it right there. At the parry. Shit. Alright, so there we go. So this is a, a good example to showcase the, the how death works in this game. So, this is your death counter. It increases by one with each death. And now I actually have the chance to also level up any of these skills. So, let's see. I'm trying to think of ones that will be useful. Go with this. I also like this because, yeah, I like this as well. Charged back fist. All right, I'm cool with that. Let's try that too. Mm, weapon cache. I like that. It's not going to be useful at this very moment, but I know it'll be useful in the future. Last one, let's do the strong sweep focus. Alright, and now let's go ahead and get back into it. When you rise, your death counter is added to your age. I'm officially 21 years old now. Oh my god. So bad at dodging the the ground attacks. Now he is gonna enter his second phase. Looks like an absolute madman. this guy at oh there he is what the hell wait did my game like glitch or something bro what what's going on No. So, I think I have found a solution as to what to do in this situation. And I mean, according to what the internet is saying, you return to the main menu and then continue should put you right in the boss room. So, let me just try that. I, I really don't think I have any other option. What a bummer, though. What a bummer, if that's not the case, huh? 
Doing so good. Alright, so it does put us at the boss fight again. It doesn't put me right in that situation, but I guess I'll, I have a chance to say 20 rather than 21. So, I mean, it is what it is. There it is. Nice. Alright, next phase, next phase. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't end up stuck again. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this. All right, come at me. Come at me, man. All right, there we go. Wait, why am I 21 now? This game, man. Why is it acting like this right now? There we go. Oh my god. I don't like that part. Oh my god. Relax. Relax, son. Where's he coming from? Where's he coming from? Oh, there's a bamboo right there. Nice, there we go. Oh, dude, if I can finish this. If I can finish this. Yeah, 21. There we go. I have spent eight long years preparing for this. That's a big W right there. Finishing that in at the age of 21. Huge. So as I mentioned, I actually did. This is like the third time I've said it already. I did start this game already on a different profile. Um, and I think I was able to beat it at 28 years old. But this time I did it at 21, so even better. Oh, dude, look at all that XP that we have. Okay, let's go ahead and... Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that in a sec. I wonder if there's any other outfits now that I have. No, I guess not. Alright. I don't I have no idea what's the best thing. Continue to use a weapon until it breaks permanently. I don't even know what that means, but sure, we'll do that. I like using weapons. Ooh, I really like this attack, the slide kick. A combo leading to a series of lightning fast strikes. We'll do it. Oh, there was one that was weapon catch. I want that for sure. But now I have enough for one more. Let's do this. Strong sweep. Alright, perfect. So let, let's come back to the board and just kind of see where we're at with it. So this is these are all the things that we've unlocked. Um, ask you for, for a room at the sanctuary. Let's 
So it seems like we're still missing two pieces of paper from here. Two collectibles, you could say. I don't know if I should go ahead and run it back just to see if I can get those things. I might do that. Alrighty, so I say let's go ahead and run it back and see if we can get all the collectibles from that area now. So the next area is going to be the club. We'll focus on that next time, I think. And for now, let's just go back to the squats and get everything that we we can get. Hopefully. So you lose your current progress. Do you really want to return to this hideout? We'll go back to the youngest age you reached this hideout at. The last shrine reward you got there. And your current detector. I don't know, should I do it? Yeah, right, that should be fine. Yeah, because I mean, there's no other way of um, getting all the collectibles. So I think two main things that I need to focus on is there's going to be... They've blocked the entrance to the warehouse. Two main things I need to focus on is now that I have these keys, I can go through here. And then I also have this key card for a room at the sanctuary. Need to find another way inside. I don't even know what that means. Get lost. So let's go ahead and do this again. All right, here we go. So there's this key right here. Once we go through it, we can't go back. Hopefully we made the right choice of coming this Hey you! Not so tough after Relax, son, relax. Oh. Two weapons? Oh, fair. That's a little bit more even. Right, let's see what we got here. We do lose all of these things. A little bit whack. Came to the wrong place, pal. Man, I barely even let him finish his sentence. here and that was fast that is one big one big shortcut hmm I didn't really did I get anything okay this one or that one Then it would be it's gonna be the boss fight next, right? So let's to miss something. At least I think so. Let's see. Unless it's here. And there's this there's this right here. Ah, oh, I need a different key for that. And up here is just gonna be the boss fight. I just go ahead and restart this then? I definitely missed something. 
See what happens if I if you lose your current progress and restart this hideout. Yeah, I mean, let's go ahead and restart it. So, I think I may have messed up. I think I know where I messed up. Where I should have looked. They've blocked the entrance to the warehouse. Something here. Oh wait, there is something here. Oh, the club flyer. I guess I must have just missed this on my first run. It's where I hoped to face Sean. I overheard one of the thugs talking about betting on something going down there tonight. Now I'm just missing this. Ah, okay. So, I gotta say, this right here, no doubt, is in that one door that's right next to the boss. And honestly, I would not be surprised if I can't even enter that. Like, if if I was to get a key in a different area that lets me through there. I don't know. back here locked. again that's the only door that's locked that we can't get through yet so I do have reason to believe that we can't go like we'll, like if we're gonna unlock a key later on that will allow us to come back here to get it what I'm thinking Yeah, see the sanctuary. Oh my gosh, I I am so dumb. <laughs> but yeah, so this key card, key card two hundred six, is a pass key for a room in the sanctuary. And yeah, I think eventually that's gonna lead us into a room here. It's been labeled the sanctuary, and then we'll be able to get something that that will unlock this door. Is what I'm thinking. So, yeah, we're good. We don't have to get that. So, I mean, I'll just face this boss again. Maybe I'll be able to do it without dying this time. Oh, what a dodge. I have spent eight long years preparing for this. All right, well, we got all, everything that we could now officially from the squats. So let's go ahead and come back. See, I wonder, like, technically I beat it the first time at 21 years old. So like, I'm just wondering if I'm going to be 23 or 21. Let's see. Can I move on? Does it say my age? Yeah, I'm 23. Ah, oh, what a bummer, man. I was 21 the first time. I should have just... It is what it is. It is what it is. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and stop it there. Um, We went through this, the squats. We got all the collectibles that we could. Show them off real quick. Got all this stuff. Uh, we're just missing this, but it seems like this is a later, later thing that we can do. Yeah, so I'm glad. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I really think this game is something, honestly, pretty special. I, I just had never heard of this game before, which is super surprising to me. Um, so right now it's a free game of the month for PlayStation. So if you have a PlayStation if you have PlayStation Plus, uh, this is, go ahead and check it out because 
it's a pretty pretty sick game <laughs> i gotta say but yeah if you guys like this content make sure you like subscribe really really helps out and peace